The municipal state of emergency in the city of Vancouver is, is not suspended because it was done uh, under the, uh, the Vancouver Charter. All the other states of local emergency uh, were done uh, under the Emergency Program Act um, for the rest of British Columbia. Uh, what we have uh, communicated to the, uh, to the city of Vancouver is that uh, while their, uh, locals, their state of emergency uh, remains in place because it was done under the Charter, no further additional orders can be taken uh, without the express approval of myself as Minister. First of all, we didn't want to see a patchwork uh, uh, emerging across British Columbia. One of the earlier questions was about how do we ensure continuity of information, uh, reduce confusion to the greatest extent possible, and if you have different jurisdictions in different parts of the province evoking different powers uh, that are inconsistent with their neighbours, that leads to, a, first of all, uh, a leapfrogging effect, uh, an expectation in Community A that if Community B has done something, then I have to as well. We want to reduce anxiety, we want to increase public confidence and the best way to do that is to have a uniform approach. We will absolutely be working with uh, municipal, municipal officials and in fact uh, part of Minister Farmworth's uh, directive today is uh, utilizing bylaw officials at the municipal level so that we can Im implement uh, emergency plans at the provincial level. We have also been in discussions with premiers across the country as well as the Prime Minister about what role the federal government has to play in terms of their emergency powers. It's our view that the province is best placed to, uh, as we deliver the services that are most important right now, that being health care services, that the province take the lead on these issues. Uh, the vast majority of municipalities, I would suggest, are breathing a sigh of relief that they now can fall in behind a provincial approach, uh, a every corner of the province approach, rather than being concerned about a neighboring municipality enacting a, a principle that they might not be able to achieve based on the resources they have available. We need to make sure that everyone's treated equally, everyone's treated fairly, and Minister Farmworth is the best place to do that with the provincial powers that are in the EPA. This is a pandemic uh, like we have never seen in this province before, and it requires a coordinated approach. I respect that there are different views and different opinions on how this is to be dealt with, but the reality is this. We have a provincial health officer whose background in pandemics is unparalleled. It is her job and the job of the Ministry of Health to ensure that the province is doing everything it can in its power. Their measures, their orders, their directions, their advice is what we make our decisions on, along with the experts within my own Ministry of Emergency Management BC. We have been clear that local government is a key partner and we have laid out the things today that we want and expect them to do and we will continue to work with them to deal with local issues as they come up. But let me be really clear. There needs to be a province-wide coordinated approach where everybody is working together on the best available advice, the best available science, and that is having the, uh, uh, the, the listening to and implementing the directions and the orders of our provincial health officer and the Ministry of Health. And what we are doing today is the best way uh, to do just that. First, uh, we, uh, we had a, uh, um, a conference call uh, earlier this week with local governments from across the province to outline uh, and give them a heads up on some of the issues that we would be announcing today, in particular uh, around the issue of local states of emergency. Uh, we will also be talking with them uh, after this uh, press conference, uh, so that communication uh, is ongoing. Um, as I said, and as the Premier said, what we need to have is a, a, a coordinated approach right across the province so that we don't have a patchwork response. Uh, that's what these orders uh, are about. Uh, we also want to make it clear that uh, local government has an important role to play, uh, working with them to, to deal with the issues that they're facing, that we're facing, uh, that uh, you know, we've asking, we're asking them uh, issues that we want them to identify, whether it's supply chain issues, whether it's critical uh, service issues in their communities, uh, mutual aid agreements, for example, between them and neighboring communities so that we can deal with some of the challenges on, on critical infrastructure that need to be in place, uh, bylaw officers 
officers that are that are that, that are able to uh, to assist in terms of uh, dealing with and enforcing uh, the the orders that Dr. Bonnie Henry has put in place, uh, because those are the measures that are going to get us uh, through this pandemic and uh, by working together. And so uh, we will be continuing to work with local government to make sure that all of us are doing everything that we can uh, to get through this. And I know that we will.